So our first step is almost completely coded. All we have to do is to code the add to order. So I'll double click that. And here we want to basically just add everything together as an order. So first we will increase the number ordered products. So we'll go to products, which is our array. So we need an index and the index is whatever is selected from the dropdown. So that is our DUD products dot selected index because these indexes are the same as these. So if the user selects mouse from the dropdown, then the selected index is going to be two, which is also the index in our array of products. So this is the product that the user ordered. So that's the number ordered and we'll increase it by one because of course user can order more than one of each of the products. So this is a single product that we increase, but now we have the total order, which is the items ordered and we'll increase that. So user, let's say order two mice and a keyboard. So the items ordered is going to be three and the mice is going to be two ordered and keyboard is going to be one ordered. And finally, we'll display it in our label. If we go to our design over here, we display the items ordered. So it's going to be LBL items ordered dot text. And we can display items ordered. And here we will simply concatenate that it's the items ordered to string because that's an integer. So it will display the number of all items ordered. So again, if you have two mice and one keyboard, it will simply say items ordered three. All right, so this one was very simple. And next, Let's take care of the tabs themselves because we need to be able to switch between the tabs. And of course we need to code the logic behind what is going to be shown in each of these tabs. So let's take care of that next.